Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. It's gonna and, always come. And, and, and always. When when right here goes up too, because I didn't cover this. What happens to fly nigga movement? We all we, we know. Put out a, we had a tape. Well, we actually, I think we did put it out. We had a tape. So the song. So yeah, back to that. So the song was recorded. I think Willie had a session directly after. I think I was cleaning the song up or doing the clean version. Because um, Akon had to. I want to fuck you, and then he changed it to love. So I'm like, oh shit, we can run that play. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And just switch the song, just switch it to love. Yeah. So I came to the clean version the next day. Tracks a million did all kind of like harmonies and shit on the song. If you listen, that's tracks a million in the background. Oh. Uh, right here singing and shit. So damn. he um, freaked it, woo woo, all the shit. And then I was leaving, and Willie was like waiting to walk in, I think. And it was like, nigga, that's a hit record. I'm like, I believe so. Yeah. You know what I mean? And from there, the crew forms from there. So the song had already been months old. So I've been to Atlanta. I was planning for, um, shout out my nigga Franny too. He, uh, had a plug with Jeezy's label or some shit. Like he knew the intern or some shit. So he went to Atlanta and I'm just shopping this song. And then it's the same. Nah, that's cool. This ain't it though. It's cool, but this ain't mm. it. Then like months later, that's when I get the call from Brian and say, Hey, send me that song. No, cause I put it on Twitter and Twitter was like, I fuck with this. Okay. And then I was hitting the station or whatever. Then I got the call like, hey, send me that record. Mm. I'm like, I'll probably send it to you already. Check your inbox. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. This old. Like, this old at this point. And then started getting the plays. Was it any, was it any, Sorry. was it ever any, because like soon after we had songs like songs from R.O.D. Was it any, it seemed like, because I don't, I, I Right here had it ran, it, it ran its course, but not really. You know what I mean? Like it didn't get the it didn't get the full uh, to me. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, but it's a dope ass song even today. So like, mm-hmm. w- just in general, do you feel like it was any politics involved in hindering that song? Yeah, definitely, <clears throat> definitely. I think it was a lot of personal shit. Mm. I think it was a lot of politics. I think timing. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of shit wasn't getting played at that time. Hyphy wasn't getting played at that time. That shit kind of died off. And I think I was, like, in that space. Yeah. But they make a million niggas a day that can rap. You know what I'm saying? So, if yeah. this one don't work, put this one right here. This one don't work, put that one right there. I always like, tell you know, niggas, too, don't expect as much support from home as you would want because radio stations are owned by don't people. Don't expect nothing. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, don't expect nothing from Why does it seem like we do better when we get up out of um, our own town? You know, like... <laughs> Why is it? You know, like when you uh, go on vacation. <laughs> you be like, like, I like that. it here way better. Like that. You bring, <laughs> bring all your new shoes out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, bring, you know what I mean? Like, they sound like they bibbing and robbing <laughs> here, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like you, I think we'd be too close. That's too close. You know what I mean? Are yeah. we cutthroat in the bay? Cutting each other's head off? I think we just independent to a fault. Was was there ever a time where you went quiet at the right here? Where you wasn't recording? Because you, and what I was saying earlier about you being multifaceted, like, it was like I didn't see you for a while, and then you popped up, like, as a photographer. And was, like, really dope. Like, right, I'm seeing some shit. I'm like, this nigga is, like, you know what I'm saying? Was that always something that you did, or you just start? Yeah, I always the fucked. I always fucked with it. I always fucked with the whole shit. I was trying to DJ. I was drawing. Basically, right. you know, you getting the graffiti. Then you start. Right. Well, you got it everything rap. Right. Not just everything rap. Right. You got everything all the hip-hop. elements. Yeah, everything hip hop. Like you know what I'm saying? Can you perform? Mm-hmm. Can you freestyle? Can mm-hmm. you produce? Okay. Can you DJ? Can you draw your own shit? Can you make your own shit? I want to make sure I was just checking them boxes. Like, nah, right. man, I can do these things. Because that's what niggas grew up seeing. I was tight. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really see too much, like, shit that was, like, people making it with their hands. Like, people were, like, really making art and shit. So that was it. it was I, I got to go back, too, man. I just thought about something. Because I, I, I watched that interview. Is, and, I, I mean, I, I'm going to just say it, man. I think Simon <laughs> G is a weird person. 
and I and I and I watched that interview. I watched that interview with her, and she she asked you some weird ass shit, bro. And I didn't I didn't appreciate it, bro. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, I know she from like Fresno, mm-hmm. right? She probably was trying to get on at the time, but like. How you gonna call my nigga Spike Lee though, bro? Like, what's up with yeah. you though? Like, what what are you talking about? Like, and then tell a nigga I didn't download your music yet. Like, is you being funny or is you being funny? Like, what is you really like? But like, but like, I still like you know, cause like one time I called into the radio station. I she got mad at me because niggas was protesting on the freeway. I remember that. And she said something about her daughter got to get. To, I was taking my daughter to school, but I said, do you understand what this shit is for? Do you understand what this shit means? Like, I had to explain it, and then, you know, she got back on the radio and apologized. But, like, that interview she did with you at Summer Jam was in 2011. It's 2021. I don't know how old she was then, but these motherfuckers need to start mixing shit up a little bit around this motherfucker. Because it's kind of it's kind of bootsy. You know what I'm saying? And we, we try to figure out why we in the state we in, where we at. It's because we got bootsy motherfuckers running shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the bottom line. Like, <laughs> 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 how do you feel about that? Um, no, no, I'm just saying I, I, that I, particular I, I, interview that was weird. And and let me just explain the energy also. Yeah, yeah, explain the energy. Fab is not supposed to be there, right? That we don't know. Uh. So not not supposed to be there. That's not what I was told. You see what I'm saying? Okay, because Fab is spoken with Cam Neo at the time. Yeah, but he had he was on the list. He was his name was on the his list. His name was on the list. There. You uh, see what I'm saying? So it didn't it, nothing was shady about him being there. But he's spoken with Yeah, yeah. But Cam Neo. Let, let's let's paint this picture. So, right? Let's paint this picture. Do y'all know the story? Do you know the story? Y'all know the story? So do y'all know these niggas both got on the yellow shirt? So Kevin and Fab? Yeah. Uh, no, not you. you Slowpoke. Nah. Do y'all know they both got on a yellow shirt? Nah. What you mean? So do y'all know that they think Fab has snuck in there as Slowpoke? Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> Go look at the footage. <laughs> they got on yellow shirts. <laughs> and, and wait, what? Yes. And who thought a nigga snuck in? They thought who? Fab snuck in. Fab is funking with KML at the time. At this time, you're bringing him out. Yeah. On your list. Because Keek wasn't around. What is Vine doing? <laughs> so what happens is, right before I go on stage, like right before, it clicks and he goes, oh, he's with you. Vine. Yeah, I'm like, fat? He's like, yeah, you can't bring this nigga out. I'm like, but how, how don't you know that he's there? His name? I thought he talked to somebody like the whole shit. Mm-hmm. No way would I try to around that back. You like this is the first. Hey, I had conversations about this. Like, you sure he good with this? Right. Yeah, no, he good with this. Mm-hmm. Stanley, whoop, whoop, he on the list, whoop, whoop. I'm like, you sure? Y'all want to call Keek? They <laughs> like, nah, Keek ain't around. I'm like, okay. Right. Y'all sure? Yeah, we sure. I'm about to get the mic, <laughs> crowd. <laughs> right. About to do our Let's thing. He like this nigga with you. I'm like, who him? I'm like, yeah. He like, nah, you can't, you can't go on. I said, like, what you mean? He like, nah. I'm like, why y'all niggas have me? All right, well, you confused you gotta, totally, and you, you cut it. I, under, I understood his position, but right. that's how he felt. I didn't so, understand any hostility. I didn't understand none of that. But I understand that that's if that's how he felt. That's how he felt. I didn't think it was a a sneak diss though. Cause we had clearance to do this. Like the nigga wasn't sneaking around. The nigga right. had a pass on. Like we weren't talking about like the nigga. The documentary. The nigga was not sneaking around. Right. The documentary ain't finished, right? Nah. Okay, I just hope. I this, this is some ill shit. This yeah. yellow shirt shit though. Yeah, like you know, and I'm sure you getting ready for the show. You don't know what's going on. You ain't tripping. Not at all. I got a, a whole nother room. We chilling over there. Walk over, my mom, my dad is there. Ugh. My kid, my kid was in the crowd. Okay. Oh my god! You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in a whole nother zone. In a whole nother zone. This, I'm not worried about who nigga places to stand in third. It wasn't do, that serious. I'm about to do it. Was my, never that, that serious. You know what I'm saying? Not to us. Not to me. Right. 
So and that's why I was like, oh, well, all right, but you can't perform, nigga, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't even a thing. It wasn't even an argument to me. Right. And for people that don't know the story, Fab had his own radio station on the rival station, which is in the same building, which is typically how they play brothers against brothers, have them rivaling, and they own by the same motherfucker, right? And Fab has a problem with Vine because he has a show now, and Vine don't play records, and Fab calls him a gay stripper. <laughs> and that's that. And then <laughs> Erk tries to bring him out at Summer Jam. <laughs> <laughs> and Fab, and I Fab, is, no, look, I promise you, <laughs> look at me. I promise you, I talked to Stress the other day when he said gay stripper and all of that because I started laughing. I'm like, because I, I, because I knew, yeah, but not because I wasn't in the, I wasn't in that mix. Right, right, right. Nothing to do with that mix. <laughs>